Welcome to HortTube, where we talk all things gardening. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is a video on the difference between an annual and a perennial. I'm gonna show you some examples of some annuals here. These are plants that are gonna come up from seed and grow for a single season and bloom like crazy or produce fruits or flowers or whatever we're trying to get out of them, and then they're actually gonna die and that's a one season plant or an annual. These are begonias here. That's a great example of an annual. And this right here, these are petunias. Petunias are definitely gonna be annuals. These are zinnias. These marigolds are annuals. This is a uh, red salvia right here that's about to start blooming. There are perennial salvias I'll show you in a few minutes. Then of course, vegetable plants are also annuals. These are all tomato plant varieties here. These are going to grow for a single season and then they're going to not come back the following year. Uh, that would be the case with the squash plants and zucchini. This basil is a great example of an annual. These come up from seed, grow very, very quickly. Fantastic to eat all summer long and then the first sign of cold weather they die to the ground and they're gone. They have to be redone from seed the following year. All the peppers our annual plants. Most of the time we're using annuals in baskets, like these Vinca baskets here. These are all gonna be annuals. They're gonna be one season and then they're gonna be done. Now for the more tricky one, the perennials. Uh, shrubs and trees that grow in your area and are hardy in your area are definitely perennials. But when you go to a garden center, these are all trees over here, shrubs, flowering shrubs, conifers. These are all hardy plants in my area. It'll do all different kinds of things, all different kinds of shapes and sizes, and they're all definitely perennial. One thing about it though, when you go to a garden center and you ask for perennials, typically the garden center person's not going to show you trees and shrubs because we just kind of assume that everybody knows that these are perennial things and these are definitely going to come back every year or just be evergreen. What we're typically gonna show you is gonna be the herbaceous perennials, the perennials that die to the ground or don't necessarily look like something that would come back every year. Some examples of that are like this iris, which will come up from the ground every spring, grow like crazy, and then bloom in mid to late spring. That's definitely a perennial. This asparagus is a perennial. Uh, many of these things like salvia right here with the purple flowers, these die to the ground in the winter and then come back. But I, like I showed you, I showed you an annual salvia. There are salvias that will die and have to be replaced every year. This dianthus in my area is actually evergreen, but it never gets a woody stem on it. So it could definitely be mixed up with annual plants. And so that's really in the garden center business where we use the word perennial is usually to differentiate between the plants that look just like the annuals, but actually come back in your area. Some examples of perennials you might be familiar with would be daylilies that typically die to the ground and then come back up the following spring and bloom. Hosta, otherwise known as deer food. It's a great example of a plant that's extremely cold hardy. It's just the top of the plant's not cold hardy. So it dies to the ground and then comes back up the following year, which makes it a perennial. This gara here, which will have pink flowers on it in a few weeks, a great example of that. Here's another salvia that's about to bloom. These are fantastic for hummingbirds. Uh, grasses definitely go into the category of herbaceous perennials, things that die to the ground and then come back the following year. Depending on where you are in the country, different ones will be hardy for you. And then these butterfly bushes, even though they're really kind of woody shrubs, we tend to place them in the perennial section because they really do need to be cut way, way back in the spring. Things like Black Eyed Susans, which haven't started blooming yet in my area, another great example of a perennial and then all these additional butterfly bushes here. Here are some herbs here, and these can be all different kinds of things. The basil is definitely an annual. The rosemary in my area is a perennial. If you went much further north, it wouldn't be hardy, and it'd be an annual further north. This lavender is a perennial in my area. The mint is definitely a perennial. It's kind of a weed, actually. The thyme stays evergreen in our area. So here's where the confusion can really set in. Here is a new gold lantana. And in zones four, five, and six, you can buy this plant. 
readily every spring at any garden center probably and it will bloom all summer non-stop first time it hits five degrees it'll be dead i'm in zone seven and in zone seven eight and probably part of nine it gets knocked back to the ground like a herbaceous perennial and then comes back the following spring in zone 10 and 11 this thing is actually just a woody shrub uh, it does it needs to be cut back occasionally but to keep it from getting too big so Something that is a perennial in your area may be an annual in another area, or it may be actually considered a woody shrub in even another area. And that's where some of this confusion can definitely set in of what's an annual or what's a perennial. This is a hibiscus, and this is another great example of where things can be different for different areas of the country. There's a lot of the country that this is just a woody shrub and will grow year round and produce flowers in the warmer months. In my area, in zone seven, we can bring this thing in in the house in the winter time and actually save it and keep it for the following year and treat it as a perennial. And if I just left it out, the cold would definitely kill it and then it would be kind of an annual for me. I grow lots of gardenias in zone seven, but this is actually one called Amy and it's a tropical gardenia. It definitely will not overwinter in my area. So is it an annual? Well, really, it's just a woody shrub that I have moved too far north and the winter will kill it unless it comes inside. So I hope I didn't just confuse you more, but the basics of this is an annual is a plant that lives one year. Typically, if we were going to do the very definition of what an annual is, it's a plant that only lives a single year when you would have to collect seed on it. But there are lots of plants because we move plants all over the country because everybody loves flowers that are annuals in your area but in other areas of the countries are perennials or even woody shrubs. Then of course, any shrub or any tree or any plant that dies to the ground and comes back is a perennial for you, but may not be in other areas of the country. Thank you for watching. And if this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about annuals and perennials. Thanks again.